Each day, the war cries of Seleucia grow louder. Each week, our barracks swell with brave, able-bodied men. Each month, more battles are won. So much so that in Seleucia, our victory columns now line the roads to the city. And each year, as I grow closer to death, my empire grows. And as more and more cities fall under our might, we have become the mightiest nation under the gods. And it is clear that our armies march with the blessing of Ares behind them. Alexander would be proud. But there are rumblings of other powers abroad. Carthage is resurgent, and our merchants tell of great ports with berths for hundreds of ships, where Phoenician merchants grow fat on their profits. Ha! My father had a saying for Phoenicians. All Carthaginians count their gold before their armies. So they may be rich, but their armies would melt away before our seasoned troops. And then there are the Romans, who eye a squabbling Greece. These fools have no shame and no honor to steal our gods and our culture and pretend that it came from them. But where are their glorious ancestors, their heroes of old, their Leonidas, their Alexander? Who do they look to in reverence? A boy raised by a wolf? A man who stabbed his own brother for a petty insult? These people surely do not share our God's love, for they are not our God's people. We are. Their discipline in battle is famous, but they have not yet faced the discipline of a Seleucid phalanx. And when they do, they truly will know who's favored by the gods. When you are mighty, there are always those who will look to usurp your crown. But we will fight and we will prove that we are not just mighty now, but the mightiest nation to ever march the earth. So let us claim Alexander's legacy and then we'll take it one step further. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another episode of our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.5. Now, last time, we pretty much just pushed against the Bactrians and the Parthians. We're up here sieging down Karakata. They do have another one or two settlements up here. I'm hoping it's just the one, uh, but we're not quite sure. We're stuck in Nisa for the time being. So hopefully we can get them happy, move out, and then we'll be ready to push against the Parthians up this way. And after we've sieged down Karakata, I think the me the best option will probably be to take Kauris and turn that into a recruitment hub. Because it's a great area for a recruitment hub for coming into this area and north into the Bactrian areas uh, up in the north as well. Although they have this one as well. Which is Tribactra. I think Calris is the better option still. Uh, but anyway, the first thing we're going to do this episode, guys, is we are going to siege down uh, Palmyra over here. Yes, Palmyra with Antiochus the Angry. But before we do, guys, I want to thank you for the continued support on the channel. We have just passed 2,280 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do. That would be fantastic. But anyway... Without further ado, guys, let us get into this battle. They've got three mercenary Arabian swordsmen, I think. Looking at our infantry, you know, our infantry is quite weak. So we're really going to have to rely on that sap point, I'm going to say. Uh, and I would prefer to use the sap point, really, more than the ladders if they are manning the walls. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into the battle for Palmyra. For some reason, it says that uh, Antiochus can't move there. I, I don't know, can't leave. If he, if, if we're defeated, he we die. 
I don't know why that is. That's quite strange. But anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get on to the battle map. Here we are, guys. Yes, it is. Yep. Cool. I think, uh, yeah, these guys are the best options for going on the ladders. Um, at the minute, anyway. I'm going to stick someone here. This is a great place for for going up the walls. Oh, that's a bit fast. Um, and then, potentially, the next one, probably around here, I'd say. Let's go there. Let's see whether they, you know, mark that with men. And we'll get you guys sapping inside the sap point. Oh, we've also got you on the... Oh, you are on the ladders. You're not a. You're not an archer. So what's the last unit of archers here? We're going to stick you here just in case. We we'll probably won't use you. And then the rest of you boys. You boys are not going to take part in this. So you are two small units. We're going to have to really rely on our Chalka Speeders here. As well as these two units. Uh, cavalry wise, yeah, again. If that is a big ho opening in the wall, we might be able to use them. But if not, you know, you can stick out of it. Antiochus the Angry, we don't want you to die, but you will be of good use here today. Can you, can you not sap? Are you too small a unit? Okay, you guys will have to do it then. That's fine. They do. They have manned the walls. Okay. We'll come off. We'll come off. We're going we're gonna to break down the walls rather than do that if we can. You guys are going to get up over there. Oh, why isn't it moving? You guys are going to come up here. Hopefully, they don't die too much so that they can't get the ladders to the walls because, you know, that can happen. They keep these guys up here. That's fantastic. It's just archers, though. That's all their archers up there. So where is their infantry? Oh, it's all down. So maybe... I mean... We we're getting shot quite a bit. But these guys should be able to take them on the walls. No, we're, we're playing on hard on RIS. They won't be able to take those three units on the walls. <laughs> They'll get shredded. <laughs> what am I saying? But we pretty much just want you guys to get up there. Speed it up. Speed it up. And hopefully that wall will be... Okay, the Chalka Speeders. Are these guys have actually got really long range. Like I said, it doesn't matter too much, you know, how much these guys die. Because we are going to retrain very soon. We just need to win the battle. That is the main thing. Get this Theroperoi over here so they're not getting shot as well. Could bait some Prodromoi over there, but I think they'd get too shredded, honestly. You know, we might just rush the cavalry through. There's not f many places to go down here, is there, look? It's quite thin. For the old Chalka Speeders. Wall's not getting destroyed yet, so let's just speed it up. Who is firing? Right, we will uh, come around this way. Start taking these towers. And you guys, let's just pop through this tower. And then we'll pop through the other ones. Just one person through there. Yeah, those guys are going as well. Let's get that tower. That's my tower now. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll pop all the way around there. So anyone running around the edge of the city will get shot by us. So you guys come here. Ideally, obviously, we'd like to take this, but we're not going to be able to. Yes. Yes! Fantastic. Right, now through this way. Glorious, should I say. <laughs> Not fantastic, glorious. What I ideally want to do is rush someone in here to climb up these walls and engage these archers. So, let's do it. You can come through as well. Um, you guys are getting shredded. Actually, you know what? It might be cavalry time, you know. They are only swordsmen, they're not spearmen. So maybe it is cavalry time. 
Although, if we just came through this way, that might bait their cavalry. I think we will. I think we will. We'll bait the, try and bait their cavalry away from there. And then our infantry can maybe sneak up the walls, take these towers. Because I, yeah, I don't want to be fighting, getting fired at by the towers constantly. It's never good. Get through there. Which way are you going for that, bro? No, 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 no. You come in here. Come on, Cav. Get moving. Okay, they're charging. If the Cav gets moving, then they shouldn't really get caught, I don't think. This is going to be quite a bloody battle, like the last one. Keep going, cavalry. I think you're going to be the key to surviving and winning this battle. You guys... Oh, God. Why is the movement so severe? I haven't changed anything. I've just been away. <laughs> that's all that's happened. <laughs> yeah, get in. And you guys need to get in as well. And then we're going to run the Chalka Speeders over here, ready to come in, if possible. Oh, there they are. They're archers. No, archers stay back. Going to bring Antiochus over here as well, just in case. I think we should we should beat these guys. I know there's a lot of them. Now, where is my cavalry? Right, cavalry. Let's go. Get into those uh, horse archers. They should be shredded straight away. They've got the Asian Royal Bodyguards over here. We might have to do a lot of this heavy lifting with cavalry, which is... Quite awkward in a, in a city, uh, you know, in a city situation. Hmm. These guys are getting shredded. Run! Get over there, away from getting f fired at. God's sake. Okay, we've beaten back the... Uh... This is going to be really bloody, this battle, isn't it? <laughs> How did the cavalry? The cavalry did really well. I think we'll go hunting these guys. Don't go that way. Come on, guys. No, no, no. Don't be silly. How are these guys doing? Okay, they're starting to shred them now. That's quite good. Once we've beaten them, we'll be in such a better position. Oh, God, that uh, that uh, that volley really just hurt our own men there. I should not have done that. Charge them. Come on, just charge. No, they're firing the volleys. God damn. God damn. I mean, worst case scenario, we charge them with our general. I think this Chalka Speeders, you know, can get in. Get pushing them back. The thing is, we want some troops here to be able to take these walls. But if not, that's not a problem. We'll actually come round this way where it's a lot safer. Why do they get to fire their javis and we don't? Come on. Where are you, Chalka Speeders? Ooh. Right, now you're coming through here. Get in the phalanx formation. And get going at those guys. Where's the cavalry? Over here. Get down there. Get after these boys. Got an archers over here. Where's the other archer gone that was on the walls? What? What are you guys doing? Get up. <laughs> Fact, we should probably come all the way around here. Um... That does not look like a uh, phalanx formation, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's not a phalanx formation. Come on, bro. This is quite brutal, honestly. We just had such a lack of infantry. Which is never good when you're assaulting a city. And Chalka Speeders are not very helpful when you're assaulting a city either. So, yeah. Sip of coffee.
There we are. Come on, boys. Should be able to shred these horse archers. I am slightly worried about the general's bodyguard, but we just have overwhelming numbers on them, so... Shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, we've got these guys now. These guys are just, just so dead. This is a problem. We're going to have to come around this way and try and beat these guys. And killed all of them. I mean, there's only two ways into the town square. And there's this way and this way. Ah, uh, so we are we're kind of screwed, really. Unless we ran our cavalry around this way, which is just not helpful. We'll get the cavalry over here anyway. Ready, if anything. If they want to do anything. Get moving this way, I'd say. Pushing through these guys to push them back. How many flipping missiles do they have? Okay, there we are. They're dead now. Uh, right, so what have we got? We've got the 11 Theroperoi. I mean, you're pointless. What we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to block off the back entrance over here. And you guys are going to come round to here. Which they can actually go round the outside. I, I maybe should have moved them earlier. Round the outside. We're going to bring Antiochus over here as well. We've got our archers firing at the Nabataean horse archers. These guys, if they stay up there, that'll be fantastic. You boys can all just stay... You boys get back there just in case they're in range. And then, yeah, we're just going to push into the town square with the uh, Chalka Speeders. Ah, oh, this is so bloody, actually. So much bloodier than I was expecting. Now you guys basically just hold the back so that if, you know, any of them start coming around. Oh, they're coming off the walls. That is great. That is great. Well, let's maneuver around then. In fact, no, just uh, get to there. Yeah, you're going to go this way. Cool. Oh, we'll bring the Chalka Speeders over here. No, 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 you fucking dumbos. This way. You are so stupid sometimes, bros. So get up there. We'll bring Antiochus around here. And then we can charge from this side. Now they're all off the walls. That's so much better. Have we got anyone who's close by on the walls? Oh, I doubt it. It's going to take you a while to get around there. Or we could get you guys. Yeah, if you go up those those ladders. Oh, they're so far away. <laughs> oh, God damn it. My god, guys, why are you so sluggish? Absolute slugs. What are they doing? Go, just get to there, for God's sake. No! Why is it faster to go round this way to get to there? You are fucking dumb. Oh, my god. Right. Let's bring you guys full. Who, what, who's dying? Who's dying? Oh, they're coming around this way. They're actually fighting the Theroperite. Oh, no. Uh, they can't actually. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Let's go. Go charge. And Tigers stay close. Should be. A, if, if we don't beat these guys back with uh, <laughs> the cavalry, then it's a bit ridiculous. Come on. I know they're Arabian archers, but they're not too good. They do have 16 defense, actually. A melee attack of 10. That's quite good. Only 7 morale, though, so they should die quite quickly. How are the boys around here? They've got to the ladders now, so that's good. Yeah, get through all of these. Kill them all. Problem here is these guys have got javis. 
And they're going to be firing those javies like straight away. You guys could try and get up there. Would be great. We'll go and kill those archers. So don't worry about that. Come on, guys. Speed up. Oh, this is going to take forever. God, the cavalry is so bad at pathing through here. Come on, boys. <laughs> uh, then just, just wait here. Everyone just wait there. Best thing to do. I know we're getting shot right now. But in a second, these guys are going to sort that out. So ideally, we want both our Chalka speeders to get up there quite quickly. Okay, they're coming off the town square. That's good for us. I don't mind taking a couple of jabby throws to, to force them off the town square. Oh. Kill those archers. <laughs> Yeah, broken once again. Stay there. Just need some way to force them off. I'm right, going to get you guys up here as well. Double line. And we're going to come around and, and, and face them. And then we're going to keep charging them in the back until they're, uh, until they're dead. Well, it looks like they're coming now. If they bring their bodyguards that way, that's great. We might uh, decide a little cheeky charge. Feed that up. Get the charge off, boys. They're only swordsmen as well. Now back out. Like I say, it doesn't matter too much if we take a load of casualties here because next stop is An Antioch. Now these guys are pushing through. That should really help. These Asian Royal Bodyguards are extremely tough, though. But once we've killed all them, we should be good. We can then move into here and then charge these guys in the back. Oh, this has been brutal. And it's been long. <laughs> there we are. He's dead. Get there if you can. Okay, nope. Halt then. Get the phalanx down. Now we charge them in the back. Imagine if we lost this now. <laughs> that would be so funny. Oh, God. Now out the back. I can just leave these Zistaphori in, in melee, actually. Probably would be the best option. Just to, to speed this up slightly. Make sure you've got your phalanx down, boys. That's the main part of it. Okay, there we are. We're absolutely shredding them now. Good, 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 good. Yes, victory. Oh my god. What a brutal battle. It was just so much maneuvering in there. And the Zistafore did the most by far. Although, yeah, Zistafore just did everything there. All the heavy lifting in a siege battle as well. Well, well done, boys. I will see you all back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And finally, we are we've taken Palmyra. Should be a nice little chunk on the map there that has gone our lovely colour. There we are. It's quite a big chunk as well. Nice. Fantastic. Let's have a look at Palmyra. It's actually not too bad. It's got a couple of, uh, couple of upgrades there. Let's repair that. And probably... Bang in the shrine to Hera. Thing is here, we need a garrison. So anywhere nearby? No. Oh, Jesus. We're struggling for garrisons around this region because it's so unstable right now. How about these slingers? Is that okay? Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. We've got such in instability in the Empire. But let's uh, end the turn, though. First end turn of the... Uh First end turn of the uh, of the game. Oh, you're gonna get stuck by Ekbatana. Oh, I cannot trust you to move anywhere. <laughs> I always forget about Ekbatana. That should be our settlement as well. God damn it. We're gonna have to take them out at some point. <laughs> First though, Anatolia. Oh, hello, Bactria. I mean, that stopped them. That's gonna stop them rebelling. So that's okay. <laughs> 
Where's Bactria going? Do they even do they even border that region? Like, where are they going in the top left up there? That's kind of dumb. <laughs> right, we've got a suitable husband. He is 35 this time. I'll accept. Where is this place? Oh, it's Lukia. <laughs> so we've got a 35-year-old bloke here. You're 21. 35. 57. 62. We'll stick you down into Babylon. Just for when that guy dies. And then we've got a worthy life ends. Seleucos so in the poor. Oh, okay. No. Could actually get you into Nippur for the time being. Oh, you can't quite reach. Really? What a slug. Uh, Apisawan has come of age. He's only 41 as well. So let's get you managing another settlement around this region. Passa doesn't have one, so you've got two influence as well. So that should really help with the uh, public order. There we are. And then... Kamnaskiris, the handsome. Oh, in this region, we're having quite a bit of public order issues as well. So, it would be good to get someone in here, around here somewhere. But Isura, Laranda, yeah. We've pretty much got people in every single settlement at the minute. Oh, it's getting confusing trying to uh, manage all these guys. So, let's get you all the way over to Seleucos, whatever. Wait, that actually didn't... That actually made it worse. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well. I'll, I'll risk it for one turn. If it just keeps making it worse, we'll take him out. Okay. Seleucia had iPhone became a large city. Fantastic. And we only had one rioting this turn. 38%, bro. That's mainly probably because we're under siege. And we're under siege from... Pretty much just Peltasts. So I don't feel too bad about... Our defensive capabilities here, seeing as we have stone walls. Pergamon, we're still recruiting Agira Speedes. Where are you going? You're into Sardis. Don't go to Sardis. Get all these boys out. What we should do is we should retrain all these boys in Pergamon. Um, yeah, we'll retrain them at the end so they keep their. Uh, Keep their experience. I just got to try and remember that. Oh, where did we get that colony? Alexandria, Ariane. That's actually made it quite unhappy. But now we can recruit Chalka Speedes up in this region. And I think what we'll do is we'll just pop a couple in there. And then next thing is get some extra happiness so we don't get, um, you know, problems with public order in this region. Then we're probably going to go for the Agora in Sardis so that when we get to, you know, large city, we can get the the next level of armor. Oh, we've got a load of ports coming in there. That's fantastic. And you can see our money is starting to snowball now, which is absolutely glorious. Let's have a look at Nisa. This is our most important region we want to get out of right now. So I think the next... Next thing for public order, the best thing is probably the sewers. So let's go for that. And let's see, can we leave? If we take the general out. 73%. Yeah, no, we cannot leave right now. What are they on? 53. I mean, it's not far. If I put the general back in. 63. Yeah, it's not too far away. It's not too far away. So it's on 53, so we need about 20 more percent to keep them happy. But that's okay. I'm not worried about that. And then we will be able to siege this down in a second. Is it stone walls? It is, yeah. Firstly, let's do what we want to do for the rest of the, the, rest of the regions. Definitely here, let's look at building roads. And then, if you could get there in this turn, that would be so good. But unfortunately not. That's okay, though. And then we've also got this battle over here, which will uh, auto-resolve. Yeah, it's literally just one archer. And let's enslave. And then, can we leave straight away? That would be great. If you got in. Yep, we can. Fantastic. Get you down on low. 
And let's come back to Thieves. And you guys are going to go into Thieves as well. Uh, Thieves should hopefully be building that. That would be good. Do you have any? Yes, you do. You have army barracks and a practice range. So that should allow us to retrain the most of our boys. And let's keep coming down the coast. Just to see where that coastal settlement is so I know exactly where we're going. Uh, because we're pretty much at the bottom of the Nile now, like, so close to the bottom of where they... That's... Yeah, this is the last settlement along the way. So we've got one, two, three, four more settlements here. And then we've got, like, one down here, probably. So the Ptolemies pretty much are dead, which is great. Uh, so we've built... Uh, so we've sorted out that region. Now let's go to our Cappadocian army, led by Antigonos. And I think, yeah, it's definitely the best option to go for this settlement. And while we're going for that settlement, let's get some garrison troops. So we can go for some Acontisti over here. What about in here? Can we go for Acontisti here? No, we can't. So let's go for Acontisti there. And we'll use those troops as garrisons for the armies going forward. Nice. And let's just have a cheeky look up here. That's still Cappadocian. Oh, they got an army there, though. Oh, it's it's not too good. It's not too bad, but it's not too good. I'm sure we'll do a good job against it. And while we're here in Pergamon, this army... Uh, wait. Yeah, we need another Zistaphori, don't we, in this army? We're going to get rid of the elephants. We'll keep them around for a little bit, but... Retrain you boys, get another Zistaphori, and then I'm probably thinking we want to go for a, a Gear of Speeders in this army, because we've got a lot of Theroperoi, which aren't going to be great when we go against, you know, the Greek guys, so, but we'll focus on Anatolia for now, we'll focus on Anatolia for now. So, we've got a couple of battles to do, haven't we? Oh, we've already got two Gear of Speeders there. Thinking maybe a Hypastis then instead. We'll get a couple of Hypastis in here. And then we'll move them across here to do the retraining over this way. Right, let's do our construction first before we do our battles. And I've got to remember that I need enough money to re re retrain a lot of the boys. So let's just do a little bit of light construction first. And Antioch, let's go for... How many turns are we in now? 83. So we've got about 17 turns before the reforms hit us, which I can't wait for. That's going to be good. We can start getting cataphracts, boys. <laughs> and if we can get cataphracts, we will absolutely just ruin the Greeks. There's Zistaphore and their infantry will not be ready for the absolute beasts that are the cataphracts that will come and destroy them. We can also get, I believe, scythe chariots. Um... Which should be quite good as well. Um, let's just get a wall there for the bit of extra law. Oh, we're building in so many places now. This is fantastic. Let's get a trader over this way. Adramition. I think we'll go for the mines at Adramition. I know, you know, it's a lot of uh, lot of money, but it's okay. We'll get a farming over here. Look how many places we're building in. This is so good. Yes. Oh, fantastic. And we are still snowballing money, even though we're recruiting quite significantly. Oh, well, we do have a lot of places I haven't built. <laughs> oh, but anyway, let's uh, get up to uh, Karakata. And let's go after the Parthians one last time. We got any mercenaries available? No, we don't. Uh, we've got enough infantry to, to deal with this. So... Oh, we've got siege towers here. What was I thinking? Siege towers. Oh, I think we'll wait then. I'm not using siege... Ah, I should probably change that. Yeah, go for that then. Let's get some ladders instead as well, just in case. We can't leave Nisa yet. Um, and then... Yeah, we've got nowhere else to fight, have we? Hmm. Well, let's do the retraining over here first. So we know how much money 
We've got left. Oh, we've got quite a lot. I thought we'd have a lot less. And let's go from the bottom, actually, down here for, for, for the first time in a while. Uh, and let's build some roads in Mothis. Kibera. Let's go for that. Hibis. Let's go for this. Alexandria Susia. Nope. There's nothing to build there. That's fine. And then Delos. Let's go for the shipwrights for some more, uh, you know, training. Uh, more trading. Uh, Bostra. Let's get the roads. Roads always help. No point not having roads. Uh, Petra. Definitely roads as well. Hermu Polis, which is a large city up here on the Nile. Quite a good city, in fact. Let's go for that Agora. And then Zesis. Let's go for the uh, public health. That should definitely help with public order and stop any plagues, you know, coming up. Kios. Yeah, let's do the same thing and go for health. And then we've got 2,000 left. And I think we'll go for, you know, a bit of a market. And that's everything, apart from maybe Samos just getting this. But uh, we don't need it, it's fine. Um, yeah, good. We are in a very good situation, so let's end the turn. Let's see what's going on. That spy's going up into Parthia to have a look at what's going on over there. That's good. We've got people moving. Fantastic. Oh, I forgot about the Ekbatana boys. <laughs> I always forget. I'll do that first thing next turn. So that we're not... Uh, who was that? I can't see the flag. It's completely... It's like directly sideways. <laughs> it's directly at a right angle to us. So I can't see who that is. It could be the Greek city-states, to be fair. Um, Yeah, could be. Let's have a look. Oh, Adrissia. Okay. Well, Adrissians have declared war on us. Okay, we've got civil disorder. Mm, this is not good. This is not ideal, is it? There's nothing we can just build to get us, you know, out of that straight away. Although, if I took you out, I know it might be upsetting now, but we can try and finagle this up here. They're both building the same thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. If we repair that, that should sort it out. Um, and then we put it on games every month or something. So you stay in there. That should sort it out. This doesn't give any public order. Oh, that's going to be a tight one. Uh, Nicomedia. And uh, Nicomedia's happy now. So we don't need to worry about that too much. Let's, let's keep getting happiness buildings, though, in a lot of these regions. Okay. Cakes the Builder in Babylon has died. Oh, yeah. So you, actually, I prefer you to be in Babylon. Because Babylon's more important than uh, Nippur. Although, let's have a look. 2,000, 2,000. Let's have a look at Seleucia now. 16,000! Ooh! That is fantastic. Okay, well, I'm glad that in Sagalassos we didn't get rioting just because the guys died. That is good. D Deliche has grown. Sariesa has grown as well. This is nice. And, yeah, we're still getting siege down. So they have... Oh, that's that's a rubbish army. I'm sure we can beat that. I'm not going to lie. I, I think we can. In a siege battle, definitely. And, yeah, let's have a look. Construction. Lots of places constructing. A lot of trade caravans, actually, this turn. Which is quite nice. So let's have a look. We're at 88% at Nisa now. I think we need to wait... One more turn for that, and then we'll be good. And we've got more Theroperoi on the way as well. Let's see if we can get any mercenaries again, because I do need some horse archer mercenaries to fight the Parthians. And we do have one available. Fantastic. Nice. Keep that up. Uh, how are we looking in terms of our garrisons over here? Oh, they're very happy. Although when you die, it might not. they might not be quite so happy. I think we'll just keep... I'm just going to queue in a few Chalka Speeders there so I don't forget. And then, where's Ekbatana? Oh, it's it's rioting. Good. <laughs> Please go rebel and then we can take it. And I'm thinking yeah, sending these guys up all the way around to Nisa. So we've got one person garrisoning Nisa. And then, you know, we can have another one maybe garrisoning Kauris when we get up there. Just to keep them happy. You know, a bit of extra defense as well. So that's good. 
Now, over here, can we leave? Let's get all our boys out. And Tyke is the angry. The angry man! And get into... 63%. Not too bad, actually. If we left, like, an archer in there, we'd probably be okay. And you know what? I'm going to do that because the archers haven't got any experience. We can just recruit one more archer, can't we? And let's get us across to Antioch for our retraining. And let's uh, recruit one more archer. Um, yeah, one more archer. How... Yeah, this army... You know, the makeup of this army isn't brilliant. I'm thinking... Hmm... Maybe a couple more Chalka Speeders. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's only going to be fighting Cappadocians. So, that's not really... It's not really too much of a worry, is it? Let's come slow-ish. I don't want to just run into a massive army. But they're probably going to come and attack us. With that big army. That'd be quite good. That'd be a good little battle to fight. Not retrained everyone quite yet. There we are. Should do that at the end once we've done our battles. Oh, we've got extra Zister 4 in there. That's good. I'm thinking we should probably start recruiting another army then. I know it's going to cost us a lot of money. That's definitely worth it. Where's our navy, by the way? Because, uh... 16 ships. Could do with retraining it. Oh, no, it's all good. Where is it? Oh, it's there. It's there. Cool. Let's keep them on hand. They've got Aguirre Speeders, more high pastists. Yeah, we'll start retraining. We'll start training another army here, and they can, you know, slowly make their way into Greece. Whereas the other, this army is going to be fighting in Anatolia. So yeah, we've got to remember to retrain the rest of those boys. Oh, we can't actually retrain the Zistaphoroi here, so they might as well go straight to Sardis, and they can get their silver upgrades as well. So first things first. Oh god, so much to do. Let's do the. I ah, know, because we need to retrain. So let's do this battle for Ch Karakata first. Let's go for that. And we're going to we're gonna play it again, of course. Why does it say we can't retreat? I don't understand. It should be this army. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit of a bug. It does have... They do have stone walls. So I'm hoping, you know, the sap point really can be of use again. But let's see. Let's see, guys. So I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are. So we do... Uh, um, right. Let's have a think about this. The sat point's all the way over there. That's quite a good place for the sat point, honestly. There's a lot more space in this battle map. So what I'm thinking is we get you into the sat point. Thinking potentially... I don't want... Archers on the siege towers. I would prefer these guys. And I prefer. Yeah, you know, if you guys went up there. Archers on this on the ladders. Wondering if you could get up that way. And who are you? Archers again. Um uh, oh, we've got this whole side to uh, you know, play with, so. Yeah, we're going to just get all our archers over this side to really, you know, exploit this side. Exploit the weakness of this side and try and fire down onto the enemy. Um, the other siege tower, I do potentially actually want that to get up onto the walls. So let's see. Let's see how they, uh, how they sort themselves out. It doesn't look like they're really... If they're not manning the walls, that's absolutely fine. We're not going to break the walls down then. I don't think these guys are actually going to make it to the walls. That should have been something I thought about, but it's okay. But we're going. Speed it up. Yeah, they're probably not going to make it. The main, you know, the main problem here... Oh, it's going to be close. Okay, they are going to get up. They are going to get up. That's good. 
bravest will soon be over the defenses. So you guys get you running around that way when you can. Actually, no, we'll pop through there and this way. Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. So you guys come this way. Let's get over there and then you guys just pop through here. Would be good. You guys, yeah, just pop through there and then we can fire down on the enemy over here. Right, next lot of troops. Remember, we've got to try and conserve the troops as best as possible. So I'm thinking, you know, if we come over here, come through this way. The main issue, like I said, is the generals, which we only have two generals. So, where are you? Oh, yeah, you're just back there. That's fine. So, yeah, we're going to have to rely on our infantry fighting the generals, which is not great because they're not great infantry right now. So, that should start firing on them. And, yeah. If you just come here, then you can fire on the enemy. Yeah, you guys stay there. Same with you guys. Come over here so you can... Well, just stay there. Just stay there so you can fire on the enemy. Uh, these guys can sort out these towers. In fact, no. You're so such a small unit that you just come around. You'll be faster than these boys. Um, let us just come around this way. In fact, no, don't. Come this way. And then you guys can come over here and hopefully fire upon the enemy. Right, once we've taken that gateway, we'll start moving our boys in. And it's just going to be a smash and grab. So let's speed it up. There we are, we've taken the gate now. Where are they charging? Are they charging up the uh, walls? Because that would be quite annoying. Just go there. Go there, boys, and then you can fire upon the enemy. Let's uh, get through. They are only Asian light spearmen, so they're pretty trash. You get through that tower. You should be firing at the enemy. Yep, good. Are you guys firing as well? No halt. Then you can fire. Now they're firing the javis up at these boys. That's okay because that means, you know, they're not firing at them at my troops. Got our hoplites. Get you down. God, those javis are absolutely shredding us. Um, I'm thinking. You know, these boys. Let's get them round. It's quite a big city, this, isn't it? Round this way. And generals, let's get you. Get you ready to back up the boys. Once you're down here, you can charge them in the back, and I'm sure we'll beat them. Yeah, we're pushing them back, you can see. Although the Takabara are very good. Get around the back of them. There we are. That should hopefully really hurt them. Yeah, look at that. Shredding them now. And then what else do we have to worry about? Yeah, all the just general's bodyguards over here. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. That's not going to be fun. I think we just go straight down the middle. Maybe get the cavalry around the side. Like these guys now around the side. So, what? Yeah, they're just getting killed. So, let's leave them to get killed. And then once they are killed, we'll get this cavalry around the side. And where's the general's? Let's, in fact, get you around here as well. And we'll be able to charge these guys in the back. I'm sure you'll be... F the amount of infantry we have down here, I'm sure they'll be fine to fight the cavalry. You know, they'll take a lot of losses, but I'm sure they'll be okay after a little while. This army's quite weak now. We're going to have to really rely on mercenaries and merging and that sort of thing. Is there any more infantry? Yeah, you. Let's get you in as well. 
And you as well. And some archers, so we'll get you in. These poor guys are just getting whittled down. <laughs> They're getting experience from it, but... <laughs> I think it's time... Potentially to charge them. Oh, they're bringing... Yeah, they're bringing their general's bodyguards around here. Not the greatest sign, because they do have so many of them. Oh, they are uh, running away, though. Let's uh, get you guys over there. Let's get, then, a backline of the uh, Theroperoi to fire their javis into the enemy. And then you two Greek hoplites as well can form the double thickness line here. Right, General's bodyguard and you guys. Let's get you up here. You guys especially. I want you to fire upon that general so that we don't... You know, get completely shredded when they charge us. If we actually engage them now, should be okay. Because their charge, I don't think, will make much of a difference, maybe. <gasps> no, it will. It will. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You guys come forward. You guys come over here. This is not great. Fire your javis. Fire your javis, boys. That's just shredded both our infantry units there. If you fire the javis, that should really help. Come on, boys. Quick. Okay, they can't get the charge off now. And keep firing. Just keep firing. Keep firing. Just keep firing. Where's my general's bodyguards? Let's get you through. Get you through. I'm glad you've come around this way. You're actually... It's a good good idea, boy. No, 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 no. Just come this way. I need you out of the line of fire. This is the really the main problem we have right now. Dealing with these guys. If you can fire again, that would be great. They're so strong. They are so strong. Let's get into the back of them if we can. Just charge that light spearman, and it'll be fine. And now you boys, you've distracted them long enough. You can get out. Just destroy this unit, please. Yep, shred that unit. Now get over here, and then we're going to charge them in the back. Let's charge, boys. This better be a good charge. I'm going to rally Adimanthos as well. Adimanthos the lewd. <laughs> That should help. Oh, that was good. That was good. Well, let's get out again. If you could fire your javis one more time. And let's go once more into the breach, dear friends. Once more into the breach, dear friends. Let's go. Come on. God, they are a beautiful unit, aren't they, these guys? Oh, nice. Nice. I love that. There's only four, five. Yes, come on, boys. We've done it. Nice. God, they really did do some damage there, didn't they? Kill all of them. Right, boys. Right, we'll try and do this quite tactically if we can. And we'll try and get you boys in the front. God, we really... Oh! Firing jabbies at my men. That's not good. I don't like that. You guys come forward. Hoping you guys will start firing your jabbies away now. And then we can charge the enemy. More Takabara. They're a really good unit. They don't seem, when you look at their stats, they just don't seem that good. But they're actually a really good unit because of that armor-piercing stat. Right, now we can charge the enemy. You guys come back. Oh, we probably were getting shot there. Yeah, that is there. <laughs> Whoops. Now it's just a... Uh, 
Just a grind fest. Hoping we don't... Oh, get out! Did I say stay in? For God's sake. I'm going to leave Adimantos out now. Why have they turned around? You guys need to surround them. Yeah, they'll be surrounded now. Good! Good, good, good. There's no other of their units, is there? <laughs> well, we've killed like three of their generals. Is that their king died as well? I don't know. But, oh, that was a bloody, bloody battle. These archers did 91 that kills. That's pretty cool. Nice. You know, some good, some good results there. But a lot of them just got shredded by those cavalry charges. Look at that. Oof. Those Parthian generals are something else. They are good. Anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. And oof, looking at that, it might be worth exterminating. But, you know, it's not actually that much difference. It's only 2,000 population. Get that on low. Let's have a look at what we can... I mean, that's quite a good... A good building, a really good building, in fact. But first of all, let's destroy that. Bizarre. Trying to Ahura Mazda. Does that count as one of our shrines? No, it doesn't, so we'll get rid of that as well. Then this... I know it's a really good bonus to our, to our monetary situation, but the culture was wrong. So, first things first, shrine to hear her in here. Make sure they're all happy. You know, we've got really, really damaged army here. I mean, it could it could defend the city. That's the main thing. It could defend the city. What I'm thinking is we send you out to just build a couple of watchtowers so we can see any enemy armies coming. I'm sure you can get back in time. Yeah, that's that's about the edge of where we want to go. So we can at least see the enemies come in if they do want to come. And of course, these are blue. Oh yeah, there is two. You can see the two Parthian settlements here. Karasamine. And then Parnia. Hmm, not great, but it's going to be slow progress over here. Slow, slow progress while we're trying to, you know, keep the Parthian settlements under wraps. These places are okay because more often than not, they are Greek. So I want you guys to go and find that settlement. And I do have another spy up in this region. And you need to find the second settlement. I, I think it's all the way up here. But we'll, we'll see when we see the borders of the region. Now, that is a rebel settlement, right? That's Ribia. I don't know. It's somewhere down here then. I can't remember where it is. It's unfortunate. But anyway, so we're up here. We're building that. That's good. We're under siege over there. That's fine. No problem with that. Then we have Elisa Marcios. I Yeah, you're going up to talk to the Sarka Rauka. Uh, down here, have we done everything we need to? Nope, not quite. Uh, do you know what? This army doesn't need retraining. This army can take the rest of the Ptolemy's land. It doesn't need retraining. It's pretty good health. Pretty good health. So when we get down here, when we start, these uh, rebel settlements, from what I remember from playing uh, down here, do have quite a lot of garrison in a lot of cases. And then it gets really spread out down here. You, like, you don't know where the settlements are. Then over here, have we moved everyone? We have. We're still retraining here, or we, we're going to. And then Sardis, retrain. Uh, was there anywhere else we wanted to retrain? I don't believe so. I believe that was the two places. So, yeah, let's get those guys retrained and then let's do the rest of our building. So, Luki is built now, so that's good. Uh, I think. 
just get that temple in there. We're kind of getting running out of things to build in Seleucia now. And then Uruk, are you 100% Greek? No, not quite. I think we'll build that level 2 colony. Iconion over here. You can build a... I kind of need these places to start becoming Greek over here as well. So let's go for that colony level 3. Elusa, let's go for... Yeah, these places can start becoming Greek as well. How Greek is Gaza? Not Greek at all. I just do this. That should be easier. Oh, Philadelphia is. Only 47% though. Well, you're the one we need to focus on. So next to you is Samaria. So if I have a look at the religions here. 15% conversion. What about Jerusalem? 5% for Greek. I think Samaria would be the next best option to get going, uh, get becoming Greek, as well as Gadara. Let's have a look. There's no Greek conversion here, unfortunately. About Bostra. Yeah, we could overcome that because there's, there's so many different, different uh, religions there. We could overcome that. Amothis, no. Alexandria Susia up here, that's fine. You can build the sewer. Build that over this region. A lot of Greek down over here, which is good. Build the public baths. Roads, we definitely want to keep building up roads for a lot more money. Uh, repair this at Tanis, and then let's build a shrine to Hera. Amuthus, Amuthus, <laughs> and then Alexandria. We definitely want to keep building up Alexandria so it can become a huge city soon. Uh, let's build the sewer, and then Saloy. Let's build that, and yep, that's it. Seventy-one gold left. Cool. At Thebes, have we built that yet? No, not quite. Not quite. Well, guys, let us. Let us end the episode there. I think we're right at the end of the episode now. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. That does really help the channel out. Comment any suggestions down below of anything you think we should be doing. That would be great. Um, like I say, plan going forward. We're going after Cappadocia eventually. <laughs> they have been an enemy for a very, very, very long time. Right from the start of the game. 270... Well, maybe not 270, but somewhere around 265, 260 BC. So this war's been going on for 30 plus years. <laughs> Up here. Um, and finally, we're going after them. We're going to get a second army here. Who are going to come into Galatian land and try and invade them. Maybe take, you know, these rebel settlements as well. Uh, over this way. Did that say it was Greek? No, it didn't. It's Anatolian. That's unfortunate. But yeah, we're going to come over here, start uh, cleaning up Anatolia eventually. Uh, and we'll use the Caucasus up here as a, you know, a natural barrier uh, as a defense eventually when we get to that point. It's still a long way off. Um, and then secondly, you know, after that, we're going to finish off the rest of the Ptolemies. There's really not met much of them left. There's really not much of them left. Keep coming down, boy. Secundos. Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't know if, if that's the last one, because I feel like they had one, like, like, right down here. But maybe it is the last one. I don't know. But what we should should do is get our ship. There, He's going to come down, 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 down to there. So the ship needs to come down all the way down here. So it can jump. They can jump on and get over there. Cool. Uh, so we're going to do that as well. And then in the north, obviously, we're just going to keep pushing. But we're not going to go uber aggressive up here in the north. We have to be slow because of the settlements. They're very unhappy. You know, they don't like us uh, conquering their land. Um, and we're just going to have to move a lot slower up here in the north. And it's, you know, it's we're going to be sinking a lot of money in here. But eventually it'll be worth it because Bactria is rich as hell. And once Bactria is taken out, there's pretty much no one up here. Uh, apart from the Sarka. So we can just 
come across into India and take all this land. There's hundreds, there's literally, not hundreds, but there's loads of settlements in here. And a lot of them are very rich. So, you know, we can start doing that, which would be great. Um, yeah, so going a bit slower against Bactria and Parthia, but we need to. Uh, so that is everything, guys. And I will see you all again on the next video.